Whether you're the person who forgets to wear green on St. Patrick's Day and gets pinched, or the person who thinks about it all year long, this video series, running from February 1st, St. Bridget's Day, to March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, is to help you get fit on Irish history and culture. Okay, we're closing out Girls Week by talking about Queen Maeve. This account of her comes from a story known as the Cattle Raid of Cooley in Gaelic and shortened the Tain. It's written down in medieval times by educated monks. And now this is, this is a very shortened version. You have to understand these tales would literally last several days on end. Now, Queen Maeve um, was the queen of Connaught and her husband, um, he'd come from another lordly family. His last name was McMada, Mada being actually his mother's name. And so, okay, Queen Maeve and her husband, Ailea, were comparing their resources. They were equally rich with the exception that Ailil had a bull, a prized bull, the most uh, ferocious and fertile bull. It was Finvenach. To add insult to injury, Finvenach had been owned by Maeve and had gone over to the ownership of Ailil because he did not want to be owned by a female. Now, the only other bull in Ireland of equal stature was in the neighboring kingdom of Ulster. So Queen Maeve rallies her forces, and they are ready to attack. They cross over the border to find it completely undefended. An irate goddess had made all of the warriors of Ulster sick. The one person that was left defending the borders of Ulster was the hero, Cuchulain. Cuchulain, however, 17-year-old, was away with a young maiden. Shocking. So the border was undefended. Cucullin tries to come and stop them by challenging them to single battle, one-on-one -on -one battle. Think uh, David and Goliath. Cucullin kept defeating person after person, and he kept being wounded in these battles, even though he was just this practically undefeatable hero, uh, because he kept being harangued by a jilted goddess known as Morrigan, who was a shapeshifter and would take the form of different animals and come harass him. At one point, even drove a cattle stampede over poor Cacullin. Until he has many wounds, and his father, Lou, also a god, comes along, puts him into a three-day coma, healing his wounds. At one point, Cacullin is so enraged that he shapeshifts himself. He has the legs of a goat, his joints turn around backwards, he gets furry, um, fire shoots from his eyes, he has halitosis. This is something that, that, that comes up in the cycles as though the warriors would be sort of so enraged that they uh, almost uh, become something else, sort of a devil. <laughs> Frightening. I'm trying to gain my composure here. <clears throat> Okay, suddenly the Ulster men re are revived. They're out from under the spell. They come to the rescue. But it's too late. Maeve escapes with the prize bull. And she lives happily ever after. Not because what happens? Her bull and her husband's prize bull end up fighting one another and killing one another and nobody gains anything, except for a good story. All right, Queen Maeve, that closes out Girls Week, and next, I think, we'll be focusing on the geography, in, and there's a lot of it, <laughs> in traditional Irish songs. Okay, thanks for listening, and uh, slán!